So the first story um, from this short story collection, Dubliners, is called The Sisters. And the story was difficult to understand at first, but to me, it's about this priest who passes away after having a bunch of health issues, um, who passes away after having a third stroke. And the story is told through the perspective of a young boy. And this boy hears conversations around him by adults uh, regarding the death of this priest. And he doesn't understand everything they're saying because they're talking like adults and there's this like maturity gap between him and, and these adults. And he's frustrated about that. It's like they're speaking in an adult language that they all can understand except for him. And he's frustrated by this gap in maturity. Um, Though I was angry with old Cotter for alluding me to me as a child, I puzzled my head to extract meaning from his unfinished sentences. Yeah, so when adults do talk to the boy, the boy feels that he's being spoken to as an immature, naive child when he believes that he can handle the adult talk. Um, he goes into things his uncle taught him that make him feel like a grown person. Like It's, it's like his way of justifying that, it, yeah, I am mature. For example, he had taught me to pronounce Latin properly. He had told me stories about the catacombs and about Napoleon Bonaparte. And he had explained to me the meaning of the different ceremonies of the mass and of the different vestments worn by the priest. His questions showed me how complex and mysterious were certain institutions of how the church which I had always regarded as the simplest acts. What stood out to me as well about this story is that death doesn't always have to be dramatic, how it's not always some big, grand um, event for others surrounding it. Um, the way it was told in the story, it felt mundane, like it was just another day. I found it strange that neither I nor the day seemed in a mourning mood, and I felt even annoyed at discovering in myself a sensation of freedom, as if I had been freed from something by his death. Most of the pages leading up to the ending are dialogue from the adults surrounding this boy, and he's just observing quietly, maybe trying to make sense of what they're saying. Um, but there's definitely a cryptic aura to these conversations from the perspective of this boy.